says is that we, uh, you have to, we all have to be mobile and we're all, I'm using so much more gas than I ever used in Echo Park because I can't just stay in one spot. I have to constantly move. We're out here at a Walmart parking lot. We have to leave here by a certain time every morning so they don't get pissed off at us. Right. Yeah, I'm spending at least $15 in gas a day right now, which is changing up. I can't afford to live right now. Okay, and you uh, introduce yourself again because the camera wasn't going. So My name's Cam Slocum. And, and you, I'm an you, artist and I've been an artist for 44 okay. years. Okay. Now this law, this law, as far as you know, uh, is it going to be contested by the ACLU? Is that Well, correct? it is being contested by the ACLU, but it'll probably take two years to get through the courts. In the meantime, where does everybody go? Uh, That's the problem. Okay. And, and what are you going to do about it? Are you in the process of doing anything or trying to do anything? Well, I talked to the lawyer from the ACLU, but she she's too busy because everybody and their mother are trying to contact her. So I'm actually going to meet with a reporter, though, and I'm going to give the reporter, Steve Lopez, uh, an inside scoop on how this has affected the homeless that have lived in cars and RVs. And then he will publish it, and then we'll see what happens out of that. It's obviously a discriminatory uh, law, don't you think? Oh, I think it's I think it's an internment. I think it's a reverse internment. It's a way of hurting the homeless into supposedly certain areas. But the fact of the matter is, the way that they cooked up the the the, 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 the way they cooked the books was by making this map that has made it virtually impossible to stay anywhere in the city of Los Angeles. So what they've effectively done is outlawed homelessness in cars and RVs in the city of LA. And that's what will be contested about and that's how it will be thrown out again. This is the same law that they already had that got thrown out. It's just got it, a different mask. Don't you think it's more or less a certain uh, group of uh, society uh, kind of picking on another group that's not maybe uh, as affluent or uh, as, as as much money, let's say. And there's another side to it, and then they know we have no constituency. Right. Uh, so the fact of the matter is, and this is something that the homeless got to get their shit together about, and I have lots of ideas about. The homeless have to create their own constituency and their own voice, and. Otherwise, the homeless are a very dispar dis disparate bunch, and right. they don't like, they congregate, but they don't, they, 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 they don't want to be a member of any club that they could get thrown out of. Right. Uh, so they generally stay on their, their, well, how would you say it? They're not loners, but they're de definitely very independent. And hard and unwieldy to get together and right. form their own. Now group. your van here. This is the van you parked in Echo Park, yeah, right? Yeah, this is that. How I mean, long you been working on this? This is two years now in the process, and it's actually getting quite famous. Um, and you know, you teach art, and you know a lot of people in the in the art world. Yeah, big I was names. a professor at Art Center College in Pasadena for twelve years, and I studied University of California, San Diego, and I've been in the art world for years and years and years. So you have a, a reputable... Uh, uh, well, you can say on the back of it, I had to do this recently so the cops would stop giving me shit. Cam Slocum is an internationally recognized artist. He's exhibited all over the world. His work is in the permanent collection of museums in the U.S. and Europe. And the whole reason I did that was because the police uh, scrutiny that we are under now has gotten bummed up as well and the cops are just using it as an excuse to rouse people and uh, most of the homeless that I know uh, also have you know have different issues with their registration on their cars or something or this or that and they can't afford to do things and uh, to get all everything up and running in the way it should be and so with that scrutiny what's happening is that cars are getting towed left and right and, and, and once a car is towed, as chances are that person is going to lose it and right. at, at auction. All right, let's wrap it up. What, yeah. else, what else do you have to say? Uh, you know, we'll, we'll get through this. All right, thanks, One thing Dan. about the homeless, and this is something I really realized recently, we're resilient as hell. All right, thanks, Cam. Yeah, <laughs> and that's true, dude.